Hi all, in this lecture, we'll talk about how to plan an Informatica upgrade. Now, if you're doing this upgrade on your own local machine, then you will have your database server, different Informatica versions available to your machine. There won't be any firewall or network issues. So you can simply install the base version and then run the upgrade wizard to go to the higher versions. But this is not usually the case when you go to the different customers. Every customer will have a different as is and a to be architecture desire. So that's where the Informatica upgrade plan will come handy so that you can give them a document of what the prerequisites are that they need to follow, what approach you would be taking, what are their base requirements for this upgrade or what are they expecting out of it, who will do the testing. So all these will form the part of the upgrade plan. So we'll talk about these different components one by one. So the first step or probably the most important one is to capture the requirements once you start talking to the customer. So you can ask the question like, what is the operating system on which Informatica is running currently, whether it's RHEL, Unix or Windows, and what's the to be state that they want, whether they want to move from Unix to RHEL or Windows to RHEL in future state. What is the underlying database where the metadata repositories are sitting, like your domain as well as your power center repository? It's Oracle or SQL Server. Is Infa or Informatica to database connection secure? Are they using a secure connection between Informatica and database layer? Or are the, are the Informatica servers within themselves talking with the secure connection? If not, is our desired state in future would be expecting to have the secure communication between the services as well as Informatica to database. How many users are there, whether they are all are native or they are sitting in Active Directory? How many services you want to migrate to a newer version? So might be in the current version, they have few repository service, which or few repositories which they do not want to migrate to the new state because they're not using anymore and they have been decommissioned. Do they want any changes to the node configuration in the new world? For example, do they want any changes to the code page, let's say, or they want to, to go to uh, RHEL from Unix, etc. So which database and operating system version client needs at the end? So if they are on RHEL, which is a very older version, let's say, do they want the RHEL to be at the latest version in the target state? And what about the database? If it's, let's say 12G, do they want 18 or 21 at the end? Because they might be planning to have um, the database upgrade for all other application in their architecture. Which all products are being used? So when we try to say that we are upgrading Informatica, it's not just power center. There would be, or there could be power exchange, test data manager, um, your data catalog, your, uh, Exxon and so many other products that Informatica offers. So which all products are we talking about when we say we want to go through Informatica upgrade because they might follow different upgrade paths. What's the current architecture? Is it a single node or a multi-node? So do we have one uh, node per domain or do we have multiple domain or multiple nodes per domain like master and gateway nodes? Sorry, master or worker nodes. How many environments are there? Do they have only dev, test, prod, or do they have pre-prod as well? You, you also need to check about the services they are planning to migrate. So some of the services could have been decommissioned in the further releases, for example, reporting service. So these are just a handful of questions that you can ask to the client before you capture the requirements of what needs to be upgraded from where to where. Um, and once you have got that, then you can have a summary of, you know, that there are three existing Informatica environments that needs to be upgraded from, let's say, 9.6.1 to 10.4.1. And they have got uh, development test and prod. Uh, they all are sitting in the different virtual machines. Uh, and the new environment will also be having three separate virtual machines, you know, one for uh, each environment. And of the three environment that needs to be upgraded, dev, test, and prod, like all of them have single domain and one node. Uh, each domain is configured on a single The domain and the services, Oracle 12C R1 release. And each of the existing environments are hosted on Windows 2012 R2 server. 
but they want this to be upgraded to 2016 in the to be state then you can also mention about the testing that you would be doing for for customer satisfaction in between you you shouldn't be giving them at the end um, just the result of you know the whole upgrade you should be involving them so operational testing which says that you know the software is installed and configured correctly so basically this would be your role or your job because you have upgraded the environment so you need to do the operational testing whether informatica is able to connect to the database server whether you know the the, the very basic minimum jobs or you know are, are running on on informatica uh you can also check the you know uh the client server connectivity etc so unit testing this is where you have to run the critical workflows to see if they are they have been migrated properly to the higher environment so this would be with your client's team who can run the critical workflow to see if they are you know working as expected and then there's the regression test which needs to be done by a client again so this covers the requirements phase then in the next lecture we'll talk about the approach thank you